Hello everybody and welcome back to my Raging Germany series. I want to thank you all for the support in the first part. I was kind of skeptical about uh, starting over, but we already have more views than the first part of the last series. So I'm assuming uh, something about this is enjoyable to somebody. So thank you guys very much for all the feedback and support. Uh, this city we're going to just focus on growing. Uh, one of the things I'm noticing, I'm used to a Liberty play style where you got to kind of control your population because you're going wide. I think with honor, if you're going to be warring and stuff, it's important that you get as much raw science as possible. So we're going to grow all of our cities uh, to the fullest extent is my plan. So we're going to be focusing on the growth at all points. Okay, it says they want this camp clear. We were heading back there anyways. These units just healed up for a turn. Um, this is part of the reason why I withdraw into the borders to heal uh, with the uh, Honor Opener and the uh, Raging Barbarians because the less uh, tiles that are visible, the more chances of camp spawning or where they spawn. Anyways, uh, tech wise, I was thinking because I really, I was spending a lot of time just checking out the map and thinking things through. Um, I know we were talking at the end about going into philosophy and then construction and then iron working. I think I kind of need to go sailing first though. Um, we'll have plenty of time obviously because we do want to focus on growing the cities above all. So this library is not going to be up anytime soon. Um, but what I'm looking at is the capital, you know, uh, build a library, build a trade route, and... Um, what, what would it build next? You know, is it going to be time before it builds the National College? So I'm thinking at, at the very least we'll build a work boat, um, improve the food on the fish tile here. So that's part of the reason why I want to go there. And eventually, obviously, the extra trade route will be nice. I don't think we're going to bother with a trireme, even though scouting and the coast and everything would be good, simply because there's a unit camp we got to think of, and it's already we're already approaching that. So... Uh, that's the one problem with playing Germany. You start capturing units and stuff, and uh, next thing you know, you're suffering that uh, uh, production penalty. In fact, I suppose I should go over that here. I know I did in my German snowball dem demonstration video, and it looks like it's starting to become relevant. So, camps here, we didn't even have a chance to withdraw our troops. And it's just an archer, which is really good news because that means these two should be able to handle it on their own. We'll go ahead and pull this guy back. I come up on the hill just because we don't have much visibility over here. If a barbarian ship were to come here, it would interrupt our ability to work this, even though it's not uh, developed. So having, since we do have kind of like an extra archer right now, or at least for this moment because we don't need him to help with this... Uh, anyways, uh, he's ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and get him out of the way. The hand axe can be our uh, human monument, so to speak. We get these guys into position. Luckily, there's Marsh. Well, I guess it's not so lucky because on the approach, but we'll be fine. Uh, so, yeah, we're looking at um, the unit cap. That's something I want to talk about because uh, we're actually approaching it here. He didn't even, like defend up he attacks so this will be an easy one shot and there we go we get another archer now that's really fantastic that brings us up to four which is great i don't know if it's my preference or just experience talking but when i go to attack a city um, i like having four archers as like a baseline um here it's looking like we could probably go with a fifth one just because with all this land back here the barb camps are going to keep spawning and stuff so we should have one hang around berlin to help clear those inevitable camps out. He'll just sit tight there, that's no problem. He's gonna continue scouting. These guys are gonna deal with that. And that's it for that turn. Uh, yep. About to grow here and spit out a library. <clears throat> so anyways, the unit cap. Let's talk about that for a second. I kinda went over it in my Germany snowball demonstration video. Basically, you go on military overview. You get a base supply of five for playing the game. Two for every city you plop down. This is part of the reason why you want to grab more land, uh, grab more cities as well. Population, it's half. Half of your total population. So the fact that this says four means our total population right now is either eight or nine. Uh, so that brings us to our total supply. Now, in use is how many units we actually have. And that's everybody here. Notice workers are there too. 
Um, that's pretty cool. The arrow indicates there's an upgrade to be had, a promotion. I never saw that before. Anyways, if we uh, produce like a caravan, like all of our units contribute to that. And so the main way to expand that is to have more cities and have more population because the five, the base supply, that's static. Um, so when it says re supply remaining, that means we have two before we reach the total supply. Now, obviously, you can build more units, you can acquire more units, but the thing is, is uh, the game compares in use to total supply, and it com it thinks of it in terms of 10% increments. So the moment this is 10% over the total supply, um, we'll actually get a 10% production penalty empire wide. Uh, go over by 20%, it's 20% and like that. And as you can see, we're already approaching that, and as we clear camps and get more units, we're actually going to be hitting that. That's actually the biggest problem. Oh, see, there's a boat. Okay. So that's actually the biggest problem we're facing as Germany. Um, we got a lot of prompts here, so let me get to that. Been spending too much time explaining that. Ask for tribute. I like how the amount's getting larger and larger. I don't know if that's the amount of tech we've amassed or their population, but I like it. Uh, get an extra hammer in here. Persia does not want our horses. Hey, let me know what you guys think, because I've noticed ever since I put on strategic balance as a uh, map option, it's my understanding that what that means is that you're guaranteed where your settler starts to have horses and iron, uh, maybe even like coal and aluminum and oil and all that. Like, I don't know to what extent it goes, but basically strategic resources are guaranteed. But ever since I turned that on, I've noticed that my trading partners tend to be less likely to want them. Now, obviously, this isn't the best example because we only got one, but that's just something I've noticed. So please let me know if you understand that, that that's an actual case or if I've just been having bad luck. Um, I'm kind of glad we got this cattle because that was one of the things I was looking at when I was off camera. Is I knew we would be getting this cattle tile eventually, and it's it can be worked by either city. Um, so let me know what you guys think as far as where it should go. We want both of these cities to grow as much as possible. My thoughts were giving it to Hamburg for the time being. The reason is is it just doesn't have any growth tiles at all. It's just these two. If we have the cattle now, we have three, and that's two tiles with three food, which means it'll grow relatively quick. To three pop, we'll go here, and then four pop. It'll probably be around the time we get the copper. Good production tile to just uh, kick that library out. And by that point, we'll start gobbling up some of these other grassland tiles, and then maybe we can relinquish the cattle there, too. Plus, there's a factor of diminishing returns. Here in the capital, we've got six populations. It's going to take us 66 food to get to the next one. Here, we're at two pops. It's only going to take 24. So basically, this, this uh, food contributes to science more in lower population cities. Uh, that's not the only consideration, because in Berlin, we actually have a library now. We're going to have the National College there. So this one, being the capital, is going to be the biggest one anyways. For now, though, I'm pretty confident that this is the way to go. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. Okay, it's time to hand out a promotion. Going for the rough to start. Uh, these guys might as well just start piling in. Retreating, get some darkness on the map so that maybe another map can, or uh, another camp can spawn. Now, policies. I'm no honor expert by any means, but uh, what I would say is that if you're going to be going to war right off the bat, opening honor and going down the left side kind of makes sense. That gives you your general and increased XP right away. If you're not going to war absolutely right away, you can come down to get military cast for the happiness, the culture, which will help you get over here better and then finish off the tree. What I would like to do is actually come down into professional army first. And the reason why is because with all the techs that we have to get, and, and just as a reminder, when I was test running on our plus raging barbarians on that Chinese map, um, I kept noticing it was very tempting to go to war early. And here I want to get my uh, empire set up and then get my units upgraded and then go. And that's going to take us some time. So I think we have time to drop through all those policies because uh, you're, you're going to need this one first because we'll be upgrading the units and then we won't actually need this until we start going to war because you can only get so much experience from barbarians so this policy doesn't really help all that much versus barbarians that's for more when you're warring against city-states or other civs we don't have a convenient city-state to beat on so it's just going to be when it's time to go for Persia which will be after all of that so that's why I chose that Okay, so now we're at 6-pop, and we're done with the library. 
Uh, six pop brings us to even, so the cap's getting there. Okay. And that's the other thing, too. Because we're Germany, um, warrior code works against us in one way and kind of indirectly in another way. One of the benefits is production when training melee units. We're not building our army, so we don't need that earlier for that benefit. And the Great General is actually going to contribute to our unit supply. So having that one extra unit at a time when we're, we wouldn't be using it, um, it's just going to hurt us here. In fact, <clears throat> with all the camps spawning up, I don't even see how we're going to avoid crossing that uh, unit supply. <laughs> Um, obviously the 10% production, it's not the end of the world, but it's only going to get worse because we're Germany. We're just going to get more and more units faster than we can actually get population or take cities. Like if we had a bunch of units, we could just throw them at Persia and say, oh yeah, we can lose some melee and that's fine. And that wouldn't be so bad except for we weren't steering that way all along. So we would kind of be a little behind. Like if we were really convinced that was absolutely going to happen, taking this right now might be the way to go. Go uh, take on their city now, but that would just be with archers and brutes and stuff, so it wouldn't be ideal. I'd rather wait. So what I'm thinking is, if we were to settle a city down here, um, we would have the two right away from the actual city, and this is a, this is a good city, right? We got a couple good growth tiles, especially imagine a granary being up, um, some good production in the area. Uh, we do have a unique luxury in the truffles eventually, and of course there's an oasis here, so uh, another good growth tile. So three good growth tiles, a couple good production tiles, some gold. This would be a really good city. There's nothing wrong with it. The only problem is that we would cut down on the darkness over here, and that would lead to fewer camps spawning and therefore fewer free units. But that's kind of the point at this point. We need to throttle our army's expansion. We need, we almost got the number of units we would even want to have, right? Um, and, and you can support a few more because we got the human, uh, human monuments going on. So yeah, we would need a little bit more, but without the unit supply to support that, you know, with the production penalty, it's going to take the library longer and then the National College longer. So I think it's time to settle this. It would give us room to breathe. We're still going to be finding some camps um, along the way because we'd have to build the settler, plant it. So, um, and in the meantime, we, we might be getting more units. Um, I'd like to, if we're going to plant another city, we'd need another worker. Um, so since we just grew to six pop, this would be the time for it. Um, the downside to this plan is that means we're not going to be able to extend a trade route to Persia because at that point I'm certain we would be clipping into when we want to go to war. Um, yeah, I think this is the way to go, so let's start plotting out our tiles. We got 12 hammers there. We do have a lot of hills in the city, so that's going to be very helpful. 13 and 8. Let's see. 14 and 8, 16 and 7, so that's all the highest production. Let's see if we can drop a food for gold, 16 and 7. So yeah, we're getting almost the max amount of gold, good amount of hammers, only be down for 7 turns. That's pretty good. I kind of didn't want to settle a city because I wanted to have the camps, but it, it, I think it's pretty clear to see that in order to support this rapidly expanding army. We don't have much of a choice. I mean, we could have another unit here right now. Policy, I mean, it's going to happen. I'm almost certain of it. So let's just uh, plan accordingly. Okay, we're going to take cover. This clears the camp. Yep, see there, there, right there. Free unit. Okay. Forgot to give him a promotion. Looked like he was ready to get one. Oh, a new camp spawn. Okay, so we might get a unit over here, too. Let's see, least experienced will lead the charge, although it won't matter because they'll get the same amount of hits in, it looks like. Um, horses are done. Don't want, uh, don't have anybody to buy those. Okay, well, at least now we have a new trade partner. He doesn't want our horses either. Oh, our city's right there. Okay, um, so unless there's another sieve like right here in the clouds, uh, this is probably going to be our next attack. 
and it is an easy city to take and he's got a lot of sugar that's the other thing I've noticed I've, I have a hard time finding luxury trade partners with raging barbarians on I just assume it's because of uh, things getting pillaged and stuff he's building a wonder I don't I don't know I'm not very good at uh, visualizing them uh, I guess it don't matter it's not like we're looking to build any wonders okay so I'm satisfied with all of that did forget to give this guy his uh, upgrade, but we'll, we'll come to that now. Alrighty, camp. There must have been a camp down here, based on what we can see. I'm just going to kind of go around. I want to cut through here and improve our visibility overall. Yeah, sorry buddy, I didn't mean to like go late on that with you. But we'll just back these guys out. It's actually good that we have another melee here. Oh wait, no, we're not building the trade route. Okay, I was going to say we're going to have a trade route going here, but that's not the case. Campment cleared for Hong Kong. That's funny, we just got done tributing them. So we're only going to have it for a few turns. Best not to get used to that. Here's another hammer, so let's uh, double check real quick. 16 and 5. 16 and 5. Okay, let's just continue working the gold then. All right, now let's head to philosophy. Now, see, if I had known we were going to go for a third city, I might have actually started with a uh, monument over here, just because, yeah, the human monument's nice, but if we could get that and an actual monument, maybe we complete the tree a little sooner. But over here, it's different, because our growth tiles have hammers associated with them, whereas this is, we're just doing growth, growth, growth for the first three pop. So, in that situation, uh, this library might actually line up with this library. Anyways, uh, step and shoot. Okay, more than, almost, yeah, a third, okay. So this guy's just going to stay here and heal, because we can back him up, back up, shoot, he can take the camp. All right. And keep in mind, spearmen aren't the greatest, because, yeah, they're stronger than barbarians, but when we go to war, we'll have swordsmen. So these will be the inferior unit, unless it's uh, a mounted unit, obviously. Okay, you're just backing up. We'll step, um, new camp? New camp. All right, let's deal with this one first. Step and shoot. Oh, wow, that one yielded a unit, too. So look at that, we're already at the cap. Now keep in mind, the unit supply being 13 means we could go to 14, and we're still not going to be 10% over, so we get a little bit of leadway. Um... Interestingly enough, the settler actually counts, but obviously once you drop him into the city, he's subtracted, and then the city plus the population, so it's a net gain. Uh, so we could actually go up to 15 before we get penalized, but a new camp just spawned over here. Uh, this guy is good to get visibility. It's a hand axe, not ideal. Uh, just a reminder, the hand axes are the barbarian version of chariot archers, so we would use them. The reason we're using them for a human monument for military cast policy is because we don't want them getting promotions. If they get promotions, it would be for uh, ranged promotions, and then they upgrade to knights later on, so those promotions are relatively useless. Um, doesn't look like we're going to be able to get on, on that camp, so let's just end up on the hill. I see he's got another city up here. We'll go check that out next. Um, I was going to have this guy come over here and start on this city and let him finish up, but if we're planting another city, maybe these two share this city. One can split it off here. One can split off here. we got to figure out a way to get more workers. Maybe even have to hard build one. Might buy one. I don't like either of those options, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, my point being... Oh, and then happiness, too, is a factor. So, yeah, let's get this silver connected up right away. Um, hell, this is going to be a duplicate ivory, so that's not going to contribute to happiness until we can find somebody to uh, trade with us. Um, but this extra um, military is pretty nice. Okay, so there's uh, three pop, and the capital's at six, so that's an odd number. That doesn't increase our unit supply, unfortunately. Uh, we can get started on this camp, though. He's going to come into town and heal up. Alright. Okay, camp's gone, unfortunately. All right, that's Mumbai. And yeah, we'll get the silver connected up. Um, we're to back everybody up into. Actually, since we're about to plant a city here, I'll have this guy come over here and heal. So he'll leapfrog. We'll keep this archer nearby to help support this city. 
So I guess he's fine here for the time being. Oh no, we don't want him doing that. We wanna we'll revisit him. Okay, losing grasp on Hong Kong, that's unfortunate. Oh wow, another camp already. Let's see here. Um hand axe. So let's Um, he's coming here. Oh, a boat, huh? Okay. So, these guys should both be able to shoot into that. And maybe between the two shooting and a spearman, we can just clear that camp right away. Um, unless we can finish this off, there's no point in putting shots into it. And there was nobody that could reach him this turn. But, I mean, we can keep an eye on him moving forward. <clears throat> Get him in the border. Shoot and clear. Oh wow, we actually got a unit. So there we are. We're at. Uh, we're actually at the production. Fourteen. Hey, that's cheating. That's not a whole ten percent over. Okay. Well, um, it does calculate that way as the numbers get bigger. Obviously, uh, that's a little more forgiving. I don't think that's accurate, but. It is what it is. So now we already can see, unfortunately, produ while we're producing a settler, that's unfortunate. But this guy can come down. He can be the human monument here. And uh, since we're going to be clearing up the visibility here, we should probably get somebody back up here because um, we're going to be sending trade routes through there. It's the only trade routes we're going to have available to us. No other city-states nearby. Uh, once we're done warring on Persia, we can use them, but I don't know how beneficial it's going to be at that point. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so they're all healing up. Um, okay. Alright, I'm going to pass, and I see this worker is about to be finished with the ivory, so we'll just go ahead and make sure that is tended to. Okay, unit promotion. Who gets the promotion? You do. Alright. So, he'll come down here, because he's coming over here, and it's going to take us two turns to get up on this hill. Might as well stay in the rough, come into borders for healing. Once he vacates, this guy will come down. Uh, let's see here. Oh, coast looking like the end of the line there. All right, step, shoot, step for the discipline. Step, shoot, and... Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Now we're 20%. Luckily, the settler's coming out next turn, but... Yeah, you can see building the third city was definitely the right answer. All right. Well, at least now we have three hand axes, so we have three cities, three human monuments. That's not bad. Once we get around to knights, it's going to be really nice having these free, like, you know, mounted units, as long as we have the horses for it, and clearly we do. We already have the four. Can't sell them off. We're about to get four more. Eventually, we actually have to develop the tile. We're kind of weak on workers. That's the bad thing about this approach. Yeah, you got sugar, but it looks like it's just the one. We can try, since he's showing interest. No, not the case. All right. Oh, but now it's saying that he can. Did he uh, try to trade me before he developed his tiles? Yeah, it's looking that way. This is really good. This is really good, because this gives us a happiness buffer. So we actually didn't need, but we didn't know that, so we'll continue to develop the uh, uh, silver. No longer friends with Hong Kong, that's okay. Well, let's see here. He's coming over here to occupy Berlin. Uh, he's coming in here to heal up. He's going to heal up. Um, let's see. So... The settler is out. Let's go ahead and repair our tiles. Working the max food first, and then more food, and more food. That's all the food tiles. Looks like in four turns we're going to grow to this tile. Um, we'll finish up this city, and then maybe he can come down to the new city. I don't know. Um, oh, look at this. Shoot. Oh, look, yep, we can clear this guy. More culture. Nice. I'll take it. All right. Okay, so uh, once this guy occupies that, this spearman can keep visibility over here. Yep, I'm liking where this is going. It seems to be working out. 
Uh, again, we'll start with building the library first just because we'll have a human monument. Might have been a mistake in the city, but because the city's so growth heavy to start, I don't, it might have been okay decision. All right, let's get that workboat up ASAP so we can continue to grow the capital as much as possible. All right, let's just get that complete visibility. This looks like the end of the line too, but we'll get some visibility on there as well. I uh, want to make sure all the land tiles are visible so as camps spawn up, especially since this is going to be our city, it would appear. He's healing up, so let us send this guy into the fray. That's our new human monument in that city. Alright, so he's coming over here to be the human monument over here. We'll take that tile just because this. Uh, we will leave one archer over here. And then we'll have the other one over here. There we go. That's going to be alright, I think. Nice, decent spread of the military that we have. And then, of course, uh, dropping the city. It'll be plus two for that. We're currently at odd total, so it should be plus three. And then also minus one for the settler. So where we're at right now, um, it will be total supply should go up to 16, and you should drop down to 15. And we'll be good for a minute anyways. But like I said, uh, this will actually reduce the amount of camps spawning down here in the south. So just in general, we're kind of throttling our uh, army acquisition. Hopefully we can pick up one more archer, because like I said, it would be nice to send four over here and still have one for the back. Uh, but worst case scenario, we can build one. Seems a little uh, counterintuitive at this point, but yeah, I think it makes sense enough. Um, he's going to heal up, so we'll just get this guy. In fact, let's just do this. There we go. Alright, maybe I should have put him on the wor worker. I don't think it matters too much. Okay, Settler comes up here. Um, he's going to be healing one more turn, so we'll just leave him there. That way he's fully healed up. we we'll get him into position. They can swap places. Or maybe I should have put the archer up here. I don't know. Once this is our city, he can move through here just fine. So that's... I'm not worried about that. Okay, we'll come up here. Um, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Good tile, but it's sitting in the middle of nowhere. There we go. Human, uh... Alright, this is the turn we're about to rectify everything. In fact, I'm, I expect this uh, penalty should disappear altogether. Alright, we actually have a camp to chase after. So that's something we'll have to deal with. There we go. The production penalty is gone. All right, we are going to start with the library just because we have the human monument, and we need to get started on that national college. So let's uh, step him up onto the hill. It's a hand axe, which at this point we don't really have a need for another. We've been having luck getting uh, units out of camp, so we're actually due to not. Um, but yeah, and then there's also the worker problem. So we have to consider that. We'll just have these guys defend. Uh, coming here should give us a decent visibility spread. Uh, something like that. That looks fine. Yeah, everybody's just chilling for the time being. Uh, we've done everything we can do in this city for now, so we got to get started on this city. Hammer here, farm here, uh, get the copper connect. We have a little bit of time, so I do think I'll do the hammer here because it's convenient, food here because it's important. And then we can go for the happiness, because by that point we might actually need some. Alrighty. Yeah, I think in the long run this is going to be a good decision. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to take it. It's, it's fun to just keep pile, piling into them. Hong Kong is ripe for tribute. <gasps> we can get a worker from them. Oh, that is so clutch. That is perfect. Okay, so now... This guy, when he's done here, can come down here and start developing this city while he comes in and cleans up around here. You know, uh, hill uh, mines on the hills. I had noticed when I had this worker highlighted that a farm appeared up here, and I forgot this is fresh water, so yeah, a farm there would be okay. We can actually, uh, once civil service comes along, that'll be an extra food there. Um, let's see. We're not actually going to grow for six turns. Well, actually fewer because the boat's about to put more food here. So we do have time to get a farm here. But yeah, that worker. Holy crap, that's nice. That's really good. Really, really good. 
Okay, we should have this camp cleared out in two turns. Easily. Oh yeah, we're destroying it. Nice. Um, let's see here. These guys are all healed up, so maybe it would be better to have a warrior down here. Well, we don't need too much protection in the backfield. We kind of have too much military, you could say. Um, does this guy need to be mobile? Probably not. We haven't seen any camp spawn back here anyways. I mean, we do have some blind spots, but with him back there, we can dogpile anything that pretty much pops up anywhere. That's kind of the point. We've got a lot of land, a lot of military. Got a nice, decent spread. Got some death squads dealing with these camps as they pop up. Okay, and that grew the same turn that we went to four pop. Um, if we were rushing for the National College right now, I would go ahead and work this configuration, but since we do have to worry for our third city to catch up, let's just put the population where there's food to be had. Um, let's see, third is called Munich. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, we have a promotion here. Nice. Where's the new camp? It's right up there. Okay. So he can get visibility from there. It's just a brute, so that's fine. Um, and this guy's down on the south. That's, I think, a good idea. Okay. Fork in the road. Where to send this scout? On the one hand, if there's another civilization up here, we want to know about it, because then after we come here, we can go up. On the other hand, we haven't met any... Oh, he's actually got a religion. What's he got? Pagodas! Oh, yeah. Okay, so he's definitely going to be our next target. So I'm gonna actually going to send the scout down this way. Um, what I was going to say before I noticed that is that because we have a coast here where uh, barbarian ships might have, it'd be good to have as much visibility down here. We might not be able to get to any camps down here the soonest, but obviously we would want to know about them. We've done a pretty good job of covering our butts here on the water. So, um, yeah, okay, free worker. Get your butt down here. we got stuff to do. This is going really well. Um... He could probably clear it on his own, but I don't see a reason to. So let's back up and shoot, because we don't need the discipline buff. Okay, and we actually didn't get a unit here, which might be for the better. Might be for the better. Um, yeah, we're at the limit. Our next policy gives us a great general. I mean, now that we have a third city, here's the other thing too, right? Like, this is a young city, so it's going to grow quick. So that unit supply is going to climb up a couple more notches relatively quick, and that's pretty important too. Um, I think we're still going to use the cattle in Hamburg until we get some of these grassland farms up and go from there. We'll have to figure it out as we go, but for the time being, I think I still like this. Yeah, that's nice. That's that's going well, I think, overall. Okay, he's ready to complete that. Okay, so he can head down here because we have a replacement worker coming down to deal with Berlin. Uh, workboat is finished. Now notice how we got that. We're over the unit supply. And gosh darn it, this we're only one over. And 10% would be one and a half. So this is cheating us. I don't remember it being so strict before. I thought you actually literally had to go 10% over to get the 10% deficit. No matter, though, because this unit is gone. And as you can see, the production goes back. All right, and now we're growing a little bit quicker. Not bad. So, yeah, I do think uh, sending this scout down this way is better. Um, looks like I'll coast here. We'll just keep into the open there. Uh, shoot and hit. Shoot and hit. Wow. Wow. I love the honor opener. That is so strong. Right, so our gold, we got a lot of it in the moment, but we do have a deficit. You know what? When I dropped the city, I wasn't even looking at whether to buy a worker, so I'm really glad we were able to tribute that one. Um, anyways, what I was getting at is it might be time to consider building caravans. We do have some site over here, so I don't see camp spawning up. City-state trade partners are inferior to civilization but since we're going to be warring these guys we don't have the time at this point we might have before the settler but now we don't I don't think we're going to be jumping on Persia before that so we would have to send it to a city state on the other hand keep in mind that Germany's uh, unique building 
uh, replaces the bank and basically says that you get a bonus to production uh, for every uh, trade route going to a city state. So if we had trade routes going to the two city states we can actually reach right now and then um, well, actually, we could have more than that because I guess, you know, this could probably reach there and that could reach there. But anyway, so say we had a Hans here, here, and here. Uh, each one of those cities would have plus 10% production. So, I mean, that's significant, right? Especially when you consider their other unique ability the, or unique unit, the Panzers, later on. I was reading up on late game Germany, and I guess it's sick. We don't even have to go to war right now because... We could just uh, science, science up into tanks and just roll over the whole sit, uh, land. But we can have some more fun in the meantime, so I don't see why not. Um, I think I like the archer more on this side. It seems to be more flexible um, as far as what we might need to do. Um, so I like this particular configuration in Munich. And everything is going fantastic. So let's pass that turn and let the other guys have some fun. Okay, you heal up. They're just going to go ahead and embrace it tight. Now this worker's heading down here. Um, one, two, start on three, or one, start, two, start on three. So we'll put a turn in on this farm. And I got a little trick to show you guys um, as far as that is concerned. He could actually come up and finish the farm behind this guy because that's all we got going on. Uh, in the city. Whoops, I kind of screwed that up. Alright, so shoot and clear. Again, we didn't get a unit, uh, but that's kind of fortunate because we're <laughs> at the limit, even with this new city. But like I said, it's a young city. It's going to grow quick. In fact, even, even odd, so as soon as this does grow, our unit supply goes up by one. Definitely the right decision there. Um, if we're heading down here, might as well tag the hill just for all the visibility over here, see what's going on. Maybe a camp spawns here and we can take a peek at it. Kind of got to hug the, not hug hug the coast, but, you know, stay near it. Yep. So, visibility, nothing going on, that's fine. We'll stay close enough to see the water. Uh, archer in the back, melee in the front. Um, it is actually a good idea to have the visibility here. He might send a trade route to us. And even if not, if a camp were to spawn here, he might get it before us. I doubt that. We're seeing, we're more proactive at this point, but uh, we'll see. So anyways, look at what I have to show you guys. You know how lots of times in the past I would say, okay, I'm just going to put a turn in on this. So I would make this my last move. And then, that way when I pass the turn, this unit's already highlighted and it's a, a personal reminder to get off that square. Well, for whatever reason, I never realized I could just hit cancel last mission. Like, if he was automatically building this farm and we hit end turn, it would manually enter in the command, keep building. Um, so what we just did is we basically did that end of turn. We already got one turn in, just as the minute we issued the command, it was done. Um, so yeah, this way I don't even have to make that my last. I can highlight somebody else, do 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 do, you know, and then uh, it will say, hey, what do you want to do with this uh, worker? And then we can say, oh well. Okay, so he's heading down here. He's heading over to start the wheat, and he's following the coastline. That's a cattle, uh, which means he would want to grow into it. So hopefully we can squeak through here before he does. That would be tragic to come all the way down here, only have to go all the way back around. <clears throat> but since everybody's on... See, they, the camps aren't spawning now. That's unfortunate. Um, we do have just a little bit more visibility, so they should still spawn. It's just not right now. Okay, so we've managed to actually occupy the tile. Now let's hope we don't get pushed out at the end of the turn. And bam, we cut this time. Not quite in half, because we, we were up to two hammers at this point, but... Uh, 33% heal up. I'm sure there will be some camp spawning at some point. It is Raging Barbarians. We still have some darkness over here. Darkness here. Darkness here. So, there's still spaces for them. Obviously, moving here, that's less darkness, but uh, this was actually the first camp we found, so it can uh, spawn there again, I suppose. 
Hey, Iffy is ripe for tribute. So let's grab that. <gasps> yes! This is fantastic. Okay, because the problem we were having is with this new city being here, there's lots of tiles we'd like to develop. And, of course, we don't have any roads up either. So now this, this fourth worker at three cities, this is going to be what starts getting things happening. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so now we're going to have two workers helping to get this city off the ground. This is a better tile, but right now this has two food, so I'm just going to work it. Um, let's see, ivory, where'd that come from? There? Okay. Um, let's see, what's Berlin going to grow into? This ivory, we... That could be a problem. Alright, so we did grow, but we also just enslaved a worker. So now we're up to 17. I wanted to check into that because now we're about to take another unit here. And unfortunately that puts us over the cap. I don't know why the game's being so stringent. I remember being able to go over and it not triggering unless I was in fact a full 10% over. So I've done something to upset the game, but that's okay. We will get by. We're still growing pretty good in this city. Uh, we're about to grow here. Uh, we'll grow here. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll be fine. So to some extent, it's actually okay that the camps aren't spawning. Hey, look, we made it through. Nice. Ooh, new city-state. Let's go find out who that is. They're purple, so I got my vote of confidence. All right, and this city is about to grow, so let's give it... Uh, this would be the only other growth tile to occupy, so let's get that developed sooner rather than later. Nice. So the military got up to the limit. We got the city down. Two free workers. Okay. We have met Vancouver. So that means we do not have to... Oh, okay. So the camp is the one that they're targeting. Um... One thing I like about the honor opener is you can finish off camps with your scout. So it's worth getting eyeballs. Ideally, we would want to pass by, like if this is not a mountain tile, glance off of it. Um, so we could end up here this turn, or since this is a hill, let's just take a quick peek. Now we've got some continuity visibility. That way, when we take Delhi, if we want to send a trade route there, we've got the visibility needed. Hopefully by then it'll be even cleaner than that, but, you know... Whatever. So we're going to send this guy over here because if we do need a general, it's going to be over here. Um, partially because this is the direction we're going to be warring in, but also partially because our death squads over here are just entry level units, whereas over here we have spearmen. In fact, it might be worthwhile to have these two trade places for that reason. Um, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea anyways. Because uh, the warriors are the ones we're going to be sending towards our target. Like, if we have so many melee that we're also bringing one spearman, that's just great. Because if they have horses, uh, it would be nice to be able to hit them nice and hard. Okay, religion founded. But we don't actually care about that because we already found pagodas. So, uh, the downside is we would have to annex to be able to exploit that. Uh, and we're already going to have to annex this city just to be able to build uh, boats. Because I don't, I don't see a Puppet building boats to develop its tiles. Um, I will look into that in between parts, but I'm pretty sure... Sounds right, anyways. Alrighty, so let me... T there's something that, I want that occurred to me. Yeah, eight turns until border growth. So what I want to do, even though going to construction was the plan, I want to get bronze working out of the way first. Uh, because strategic balance is on, we have iron somewhere in the capital. If it's on one of these hills, then that's fine. It's already in our borders. You know, we got three hills here in our borders. But if it's like this hill, or this hill, this hill, or this hill, uh, it's not in our borders. And... Because we've acquired so many tiles, it's taking a long time for the city to acquire more tiles. Um, so I want to reveal the iron, because if it's one of the outside of our border hills, hopefully we'll grow to that, and that way we can actually mine up the iron so we have some iron to make swordsmen with. Does that make sense? I hope that is what you guys would do as well. Uh, we do have our first trade route out, so let's just examine what that scene is looking like. Berlin to Hong Kong on land is actually the most gold we could get. So we're missing out on science, but that's uh, pretty clearly 
uh, the right answer because 4, 8, 15, 27. And we're just growing more and more. Libraries are coming up, so this is not going to take 27 turns. Um, there is the matter of it's going to take our units times to march. So transmitting it over here, that's one turn. Running for 30 turns. <sighs> Maybe these tiles are about to get developed, so I think this. Yeah, our science is going to start going up. That's a really good question. Do we have time to send it to Persepolis? I thought we did before. There's no way, right? There's just no way. There's no way at this point. Right here it says 32 turns, and we're going to be killing barbarians in the meantime. Um, science is going to continue. I, I'm thinking there's just no way. Let's just send it to Hong Kong. There's not even reason to fret. Oh, wait. I'm not transmitting it. I'm, I'm sending it out. Hong Kong. Yes. All right. So this is the route that's going to take. Um, so having this guy more like here would be better for now. Um, this increases the chance the camp spawns over here. Well, actually, no, because the only tile that's dark over here is this one. Um, and maybe this one, once our worker gets out of the way, that's possible. Uh, let's have him come up on the hill. He can put in a turn as he works his way down. Um, yeah, it wants to grow to there. I wish it would grow to the deer. That would be nice. Uh, anyways, I do think second caravan would be the way to go here. And if we're not ready for National College at that point, we can start on the circus, probably. Uh, I do think farm here. If we were doing a two-city national college, I might develop the copper first, but this will be fine. Thanks to military cast, we have the happiness cushion. We don't have to go for the unique luxury right away. All right, let's end on this tile. That way we should be able to glance off this. And even if this is a mountain, we can at least push through the zone of control at the end of our mobility rather than having to consume our mobility on step one. Terracotta Army has been built in a faraway land. Uh, fun fact, if you're Germany, if you'll notice here the way my uh, user interface, look how it says one archer here, three archers here, uh, spearmen here, spearmen here. That's because one of these are natural and one of them is ar barbarian. So even though the archer doesn't have different artwork and name like a brute or hand axe, it is considered a different unit. So if we were to have built uh, Terracotta Army, we would have gotten two more archers and two more spearmen. Uh, not just one. So, fun fact for you, if you're playing Germany, that's actually a pretty decent wonder to go for. Obviously, we don't have the unit cap for it, but, you know, there might be some games if you're playing on a lower difficulty. Um, I don't think you need the honor tree, so it's probably going to be a competitive... I see it built in every game, so... Um, there's no reason to stick to the camp, right? That kind of looks like river, not border. So let's uh, head this way. More sugar. Gosh, when it rains, it pours. All right, so this guy's just chilling over here. Taking up our unit cap, much to our chagrin. All right, work the tile with food, which will actually be a farm next turn, so it's not like we're missing out very long at all. You can just chill. Uh, he's coming in here. Um, yeah, so these guys will probably be the backfield death squad when we start pushing everybody towards the... It would be nice if we could pick up another unit or two, but I think right now we don't have the room for it. Okay, now see, this makes sense. See how we're 2 over and we're only 10%? It's because we're not 20% over. And hopefully we won't get there, but... Uh, I'm going to put in a turn here, and then again, cancel. The turn's already committed there, so... Uh, this just makes it to where next turn it'll prompt us, hey, what do you want to do with this guy? As we're going to, as we're issuing the next unit command, like I have on my G600 Logitech mouse. Oh, wow. Didn't we just take a... We had just taken it. Wow. It only s usually give you tribute recently as negative 300. I wonder if that's the money thing to prevent you from taking money again. Even that's not too far off. We're five shy of it. We don't need another worker, but still, I'm surprised because I thought tributing a worker was like 50 or something. 50 hate. Uh, maybe the trade route helped? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so, but what do I know? Okay, growth has been completed. 
You know what? These guys are actually going to fight over who does the uh, farms in what order. So I might have to put in another turn on this while this guy comes here and then they both slide down to do the two farms. Um, if we had people buying our horses, I'd, I'd make an effort to get the horses up quicker. Um, I mean, doing so would mean every time the city grew a population, it would come here and get one more hammer because we're production focused, but maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. Oh, he's free this turn. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, we'll have him do the farm, and since he'll be prompted, we'll just both slide. Or he'll continue here while he goes over here. I don't know. Seems like the two farms would be better to start. It's not like we have this tile in our border yet. We want that to grow, grow, grow. We have a unit camp that cap that's uh, punishing us right now. Alright, we're going to get out of the way of that. Anyways, we are way past the half hour mark, and I don't have a problem with that. Uh, Germany, Honor, Raging Barbarians. I, I wasn't going to restrict myself to half an hour uh, episodes. This is just way too much fun, and uh, you guys are doing me a solid by putting up with the fact that I did not finish the last series. So I hope you're enjoying this also. I'm having an absolute blast, so it definitely was worth it for me. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.